What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hopped LA Events on Tap, episode 48. Covering all of the awesome things happening in LA beer this week. And this week, we're back in the backyard. Um, home show. Yeah, a little home show. But that's okay, because we have some awesome beer to drink yes, on this one. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yeah. So, today, I have Ghost Haze Killa from... Aero Lodge Brewing Company. It's a hazy IPA, and I am super excited to crack this one open. What do you got? Okay, we got Claremont Craft Ale sixth anniversary root IPA. This is their first time doing it this style. Excited to try this one. Yes. Let's crack them open and give yep. them a whirl. Roll bars up. I'm gonna jump in and tell you a little bit about Ghost Haze Killa. Super delicious beer. Um, this one's got kind of just a the right amount of body, a little bit of thickness, but it's not too thick. So you're chewing on the beer, um, and the flavor component super good. So um, a lot of orange, not bitter though, uh, like super sweet and juicy orange, um, with a lot of kind of melon, honeydew, cantaloupe. Um, really sweet fruit but balanced so you're not over the top sweetness it's really really good if you like hazy IPAs you're gonna like this one plus the can is super cool just the branding around all their beers really neat Agreed. If you see it in the stores I would buy one or four all right what are you thinking all right so Claremont Craft Ale sixth anniversary brute IPA um, I like it it's effervescent, like you would expect with this type of style. It's light, it's crisp, it's clean. Um, I think the only thing that I would say about it is that I wish it had a little bit more of like a hop, uh, a little more of the hop flavors coming through. I think it's a tiny bit subdued, yeah. but nonetheless, I think it's still a, a pretty good beer. Yeah, um, it's light, it's crisp, but in terms of flavor, um, it doesn't sit on your tongue. And, and I think that's kind of the point, but some of the other brutes yeah. that we've had. Not saying that was a bad thing. No, no, not no. at all. Yeah. Overall though, really digging it. Yeah, this. solid yeah. beer. Good beer. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we're gonna continue to sip on these bad boys. Now let's get right into the events for this coming week. Starting off with our featured events, however. <laughs> kicking that off Wednesday, September 5th, starting at 12 p.m., right smack dab in the middle of hump day. The Stalking Horse in West LA is celebrating their one year anniversary. Uh, this one is a unticketed event. They're doing $4 drafts all day long, uh, social hour food all day long. So really just one giant happy hour um, that you get to reap all the benefits from. So check out the Stalking Horse, awesome English style pub in West LA with a brewery on site so you get to taste the beers brewed in house. Uh, it sounds like a cool one to check out on Wednesday. Right. So our next featured event, this one is going down on Monday, September 10th, starting at 5.30. This is actually an event that we're a part of. So we're, we're teaming up with Bluebird Brasserie in Sherman Oaks, and we're putting together a paired Belgian Flights and Bites night. Uh, basically, really good flight of Belgian-style beer that they brew on site, uh, paired up with a tasting menu of their kind of Belgian-inspired food. And uh, we're also gonna be doing some brewery tours, some Q&A with Noah, their head brewer. Um, and then as part of your ticket, you get to bring home your cho choice of a Hopped LA shirt, as well as a Bluebird glass. So this is gonna be really fun, um, gonna be a really intimate event, and a look at some of the great Belgian style beer that Bluebird has to offer. If you have not seen the space, uh, we posted some photos after we first visited and this place is insane looking. Just super cool environment, really cool space. Um, so if you have not been yet, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. Buy your tickets right now, hopdla.com slash bluebirdticks, and they're 20 bucks, super great value, and we hope to see you there. Buy them now. All right, so that does it for our featured events. Let's jump right into what's happening this week, Thursday, September 6th, starting at 12 p.m., is the fourth annual South Bay Tap Takeover with our boy Lloyd from Craft Beer Guy at the Tortilla Cantina. So new venue for this year, but there's a shitload of the South Bay breweries on tap for this one. 
Um, Saying 19, I'm going to say, let's say 20. Yeah, he just added South more, so it's Bay. a little over 20. Yeah. 20 taps of South Bay Independent Craft Beer on at Tortilla Cantina on Thursday. And uh, it sounds like a fun event. Go check it out. Yeah, then on Saturday, September 8th, this one goes from 1 to 8 p.m. Beachwood Blendery in Long Beach is releasing their newest Goose inspired ale. So this is a very special release for them uh, that they've been working on for a long time. It sounds amazing. And we've been to some release events at the Blendery in the past. They are so good. Really intimate, right in that barrel room. Um, they're gonna have some food. Ryan Fields, the, uh, the, the blender and kind of head of Beachwood Blendery will be there talking about the beer. Um, this one sounds super cool. It's 50 bucks, buy your tickets now. It will be well worth it. Jump on it. Next up, Saturday, September 8th at 3 p.m. It's a really special pop-up release for Three Chiefs Brewing. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know a lot about these guys. Um, I know that they are in El Segundo, but the brewery itself is not actually open yet. So this is kind of a uh, under the radar sneak peek at what this brewery is all about. Um, sounds like a, a really fun time and, and an opportunity to check out a brand new brewery that uh, that's just not open yet. All right, so that does it for this week's events. Let's do a quick little look at what's happening later on in September. Previews, previews, previews. Kicking that off Friday, September 14th, starting at 4 p.m. going all weekend long. It's Pacific Plate Brewing's five-year anniversary party weekend. So they're doing a bunch of cool shit. You can expect some new beers, music, food, fun, different things happening each day. Uh, highly recommend checking out hopdelay.com slash events. Go to that event listing and check out all the details there. Lots of fun stuff happening for Pacific Plate. Monrovia. Then on Saturday, September 15th, this one starts at 1 p.m. We've been talking about this event for weeks now. It's the Craft Beer Long Beach Festival 2018. This is the second annual version of this event, and they're bringing in all the lost, or, <laughs> and they're bringing in all the Long Beach breweries that are open, and even some that have not opened yet. It's very intimate, small festival, tickets do sell out. I'm surprised they're still available at this moment. So as soon as you're seeing this, go to our site, find the listing, jump on and buy some tickets, and drink some Long Beach beer. That scene is blowing up. So that does it for this week's episode of Events on Tab. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next Monday at our event at Bluebird Brasserie. Buy tickets, only 20 bucks, all right? Do it. Drink indie and drink local.